Happy Friday, Saints fans. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend coming up ahead of you. And I hope you didn't have too bad of a week because, as always, it's Friday. So, you know, it's the end of the week, and it's always good vibes here at Saints Now by Chat Sports. As usual, I'm your host, Trace Jard, and welcome into today's show. I want to focus on today's show just talking about Rashid Shaheed. You know, the UDFA out of last year's class from Weber State had a massive potential list, or a massive potential coming into the season. Did a lot with the limited production or with the limited uh, attempts that he had and produced a lot of quality football. But guys, I want to discuss on whether or not Rashid Shahid is overrated, underrated, or properly rated. So let's dive into this, and I want you to answer today's poll question. Rashid Shahid is blank. Type O for overrated, type U for underrated, type P for properly rated. I'm going to give you my answer at the end of the show. And I'm honestly, you'll probably be able to pick up what I have to say throughout this entire video. So guys, I want to hear from you and please let me know what you think. Rashid Shahid is blank, overrated, underrated, or properly rated, excuse me. So there is no surprise here. Number 22, he wore number 89 last year. Number changed number 22. Rashid Shahid is impressing this offseason. The Saints wide receiver is a phenomenal player. He has a lot of quality attributes, and he has a lot of reasons as to why he is such an impactful player for the Saints offense, including some of these reasons. And it's not limited to just these 10 reasons, but here are just 10 things that I love about Rashid Shahid. He's a really crisp route runner. He has very good footwork. He knows how to find the open space, and he has great footwork when he has the ball in his hand. He also has very reliable hands. Last season, he had an 82.4% catch rate, and then he's also slippery when he's in the open field, and he can find the open field because he has great vision and creates space with the ball in his hands. And a lot of that comes from the fact that he is such a successful kick returner and punt returner and special teams guy, and not to mention the versatility. He can play outside. He can play in the slot. He can play in the interior. He can run the ball. He can do literally anything you want on the offensive side of the ball, as well as the fact that he has great body control. He plays bigger than his size, and the speed is unbelievable. We ca- I've been calling this guy, Rash- I got the, I, I mean, rephrase. I've been saying I have the need for speed and Rashid Shahid for literally months, for I mean, honestly, since the day he was signed as a UDFA, he is impressing so much this offseason. And the personality, the demeanor, and the chemistry with the team is something that I love as well because he has been able to really grow chemistry. He's been able to become pretty much best friends, it seems like, with Chris Olave on the sideline. These guys have a lot of fun together and having youth and quality um chemistry and a good demeanor and a great personality only makes you that much more special of a player in the locker room as well as on the field and here's what Rashid Shahid had to say on his speed and I think that this is an interesting quote because he said I feel like my speed is definitely my biggest attribute but I feel like something that's been overlooked in my career is that I can run all the routes and run the route tree and be a receiver that can do everything that's something that I take pride in and something I continue or that I continue to get better at. I hope I can get the respect from defensive coordinators throughout the league. And I think that he did that because in 2022, the Saints wide receiver, return specialist, and just all around speedster made the most out of his limited opportunities. We truly didn't get to see his production or see him take over until the latter half of the season. Realistically, it was kind of like week 11 and afterwards is really where we got to see him be a key part of the offense. You know, he showed bursts, he showed promise, and he showed good things in that Bengals game, for example. But we really didn't get to see what he was capable of doing until the second half of the season. And his receiving stats, if you see the title up there, I just immediately went to Lightning McQueen. He's faster than fast, quicker than quick. He's Rashid Shahid. He had 34 reception or 34 targets with 28 receptions. Has really good hands there. Caught a lot of balls. And honestly, an underrated thing that he was able to do. He got the ball aired out to him a lot from Andy Dalton. And let's call it how it is. Andy Dalton isn't the greatest quarterback that's ever played the game of football. So it's impressive to see him be able to find that success in his rookie season. He also had 488 receiving yards, two receiving touchdowns. He averaged just under 17 and a half, 17 and a half 
uh, yards per reception. Then he had a long of 68 yards in a rec- in a single reception. On the other half, he had four carries for 57 yards, one rushing touchdown, which we saw against the Bengals, where he burned Jesse Bates, and then the rushing average at 14.3, and he had that. It, it, the long was 44 yards, and it was that run against Cincinnati. So, guys, if you want more Saints videos. Please be sure to subscribe for insightful, informative, and entertaining coverage. I'm a diehard Saints fan. I've been bleeding black and gold since the day I came out of my mama's womb. And I promise you, you will not get more passionate coverage. You will get, you will not get more entertaining and more just all-around fun coverage around your New Orleans Saints. So please lock us in for Saints coverage by Saints fans, for Saints fans. And also, if you're if you want to get geared up, you want to get some fresh uh, merchandise, head to chatsports.com slash Saints Combo. The link will be in the description and in the comment section of this video. You get both of these t-shirts for 40% off. Not one, not the other. You get both for 40% off. And if you're like me and you love a good deal, I would take advantage of it by using this link, chatsports.com slash Saints Combo. All right, so back to Rashid Shahid. Not only is he an, uh, an offensive weapon, and just a juggernaut of an offensive player, he also brings so much special teams value. And last season for his stats, he had 14 returns and a kickoff, 320 yards, 22.9 yards per return, and then a long of 31 yards. And as for the punt return, he had 20 receptions, 193 yards, 9.6 yards per uh, return, and then he actually had a long of 42 yards in a punt return. So my point being... You're not just getting offense from him. You're also getting special teams value out of a very talented and very versatile guy in Rashid Shahid. And I'm not the only one who's talking about him. Ross Jackson isn't the only one talking about him. Nick Underhill, Mike Triplett, Catherine Terrell, we're not the only ones talking about why Rashid Shahid could have a breakout season. Mike Thomas also mentioned this in a recent press conference after OTAs when he made his return to Saints practice. He said on Rashid Shahid and Chris Olave, those are my guys. They're two California guys. Of course, Chris Olave is from from Ohio State. But before I got my injury, I was always working with those guys. So we're kind of like a little big three. And then he went on to mention, he's like, you know, maybe not a big three because we do have other receivers in the room that will contribute and have to contribute. But those are just my two rookies last year that I took under my wing and was involved with a lot. So just to see their success always puts a smile on your face, and then just to find where I can add value and help them to be successful. And so as for the Saints' big three, you got MT, you got Olave, and you got Rashid Shahid. I mean, this is such a solid three-headed monster. Obviously, Michael Thomas being healthy is a huge factor in this if you don't have Michael Thomas healthy there is no big three maybe the big three is like Foster Morrow or Juwan Johnson or A.T. Perry or Brian Edwards or somebody else but your wide receiver one two and three are these three guys in the reproduction especially for Chris Olave 72 receptions he's already in a thousand yard receiver four touchdowns and he did all of that with Andy Dalton Rashid Shahid we've seen the numbers 28 receptions 488 yards two touchdowns Michael Thomas was dominant in the very limited action we got to see him last year. And if we remember, if you need to just, you know, uh, spark your memory of why Michael Thomas is special, it's because look back on game one last year, a week one at Atlanta. He put the team on his back and he was a huge piece of winning that game. Two of his touchdowns last season were in that week one game, 171 yards on 16 receptions. And I think that this is a solid trio for Derek Carr. But I, guys, I need you to make a statement for me. Shahid will have blank touchdowns in 2023. He had two last year in the air, one on the ground. So I need you to let me know where is he going to, how many touchdowns is he going to have combined this year? Because I think that he could actually even get like a kick return or a punt return for a touchdown if he takes over for Malik Flowers or, you know, if Malik Flowers takes over, then, you know, he doesn't going to have the kick return special team stuff. But anyway, fill in the blank and let me know. And so just to kind of round things out, I want to get some of my final thoughts out there. Shahid is a guy who can become a leader because the Saints wide receivers impact, I truly do believe, will consistently increase every single year. 
And not just that year by year, but also week by week. I think that his uh, impact, I think that his role, as well as the aspect or the the aspects on how they use Rashid Shahid will increase and will just get deeper and get more unique. And I truly do think that he has the ability to be a Swiss Army knife, not in the sense in the same style as Taysom Hill, but stylistically they will be different. But I think in terms of utility, you'll have a lot of you know versatility and a lot of different ways you can use that player. And the best part about all of this is he doesn't have a ton of pressure on him. It's not like he's a wide receiver one or he's a guy where he's, for example, a Traquan Smith a few years ago where you have to have him produce as a wide receiver one when you know he's not because there's so many weapons on that offensive side of the ball. And we've shown this graphic before, and I'll show it again. And I will say this again. You can't even fit all of them on the damn graphic. Not mentioned on this is a guy like Foster Morrow or a guy like James Washington. What about players like Eno Benjamin who still do have a role in the NFL? I really do believe the Saints have a phenomenal offensive arsenal. And not to mention, you have a Rashid Shahid 2.0 with Malik Flowers, your UDFA that you got out of Montana this year. The former Grizzly, he tied Rashid Shahid's career kick return touchdowns at seven return touchdowns. I mean, this guy is a freak of nature. It's a phenomenal problem to have two great football players that are speedsters, that can find open space, that can contribute, not just in special teams, but also on the offensive side of the ball. So guys, I need to get you guys to just show him some love in the comments section because I have the need for Rashid uh, Shahid. I need you to let me know if you have the need for Rashid Shahid as well. Because if he's going to have a breakout season, you need to type 22 down in the comment section. I'm going to be peppering the chat with my 22s. And also, if you enjoyed today's content, I'm really trying to grow my social media platforms. Please feel free to hit me up on all three social media platforms. I made it easy for you. It's at TraceGerard48 on all three of those accounts. I'm trying to get to 2,000 Instagram followers. I want to get to like 1,500 Twitter followers, and I really want to get to 200 TikTok followers as soon as possible. So guys, feel free to hit me up. DM me, Rashid Shahid or 22. That way I know you came from this video, and I'll be sure to show you some extra love in the DMs. I'll hit you up. We can talk, chop it up about some Saints football and all that. But otherwise, guys, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. We'll be back with some more coverage throughout the weekend. Turn on your notifications, and y'all stay golden.